Ah, oh, fair play. <clears throat> good evening. Good evening. Good evening, one and all. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Um, hopefully the sound is all good. Um, just let us know what my sound's like because it's normally shit. Hello. Um, I've adjusted it a little bit tonight, so hopefully we should be okay. So, who have we got? Who have we got? Um, let me minimise that. <clears throat> Can anyone uh, hear us? Open. Can you hear me now? That. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hello? Alright, uh, here we got I'm on in... the phone! <laughs> <laughs> uh, who we got in tonight then good evening mummy mead hope you're well Cal's, how you doing brother Claire Kevin K Mr. Matt Chanandla Bong <laughs> Chanandla Mr. Mike Kem good evening Richard <clears throat> is it is it Richard we don't know uh, Mr. Mr. Vaping Irish Village good evening good evening Mr. Smurf Kevin K who else we got? Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh, Mr. Lou Ferrigno, good evening. Anyone know dust? <laughs> <laughs> Tit. Anyone with a pulse? Anyone pulse. with a pulse? <laughs> what sort of pulse? Sound is all good, but the looks yep. things. Right, wicked. Right, so we will do our normal <clears throat> what Jimma call it. As you can see, we have someone else with us tonight. Have a special guest. Hi. Some of you may know him. Some of you may not. But, yeah, I'm the uh, annoying, the annoying northerner. This is the annoying Geordie bloke. <laughs> I'm Smoggy, not a Geordie. I know. I'd just like to call you a Geordie to piss you off. Oh, <laughs> it's like uh, calling you a southern, southern fairy. I am a southern fairy compared to you, you tit. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, this is uh, Mr. Chris Linton over on from the True Vapors group and also on YouTube. So, uh, just I'm only up, just over 200 subscribers. Yep, yeah, so <laughs> if you're not subscribed, go on over, give him a sub, show him some love. Someone has to. Yes, welcome to the show, Mr. Chris. Thank so. You. Thank you, we'll thank you, thank you. Do our normal. What are we vaping on? And who uh, gone first? We'll start with our guest. Oh right, <clears throat> I've got a nice selection. Uh, I've got my Copper Dreamer with the OG Goon with a Copper Chuff cap that I got from Ian Craggs. Um, I'm vaping on some Circus Cookie. Uh, I'm on the Nova with Creed absolutely love this tank best tank out so far uh, and I'm vaping on cherry cola cubes on that one and I got sent this from the states my warlocks hammer it's a custom parallel magnet it rather strong but yeah custom parallel box <clears throat> Custom, in, custom painting on it, and I've got the Cosmonaut on top of that. And I am vaping on some Cushman Strawberry Mango. Uh, Chris, I've just Ooh. seen in the chat, Johnny the Vaporholics in chat. Hello, Johnny. Um, He won the tickets, didn't he? Yes, where I did, Johnny, I've sent Shane your a picture of the ticket for you. Yeah, so if you just drop me a message on the Big Boy Coils page, Johnny, I'll send it straight over to you. So that's where I'm vaping on, guys. Uh, if you want to get one of these, uh, head over to the Ga Gathering Vapor on Facebook. Well worth it. Good uh, evening, I'll Lee. Pass it on to Mo. Hey, alrighty, guys. Mo. First of all, welcome Chris to the show. Thank you. It's nice to have you on. Yeah. It's better um, than just being in chat. It's, second, <laughs> yeah. it's, actually the it's actually the second time Chris has been on, but the first time with you. Yes, yes. He was on back in the early days of the show. Aha. Well, it's nice to uh, to be on a show with you, Mr. Chris. <laughs> um, okay, we'll go through what I'm vaping on. 
<clears throat> so as per usual, my day-to-day -day that I take on the building site, the Tesla Invader 2-3. I have the Invader V4 on the way, and I'm... I can't fucking wait for it to come. I've been waiting for fucking ages. Um, I've got the bombs are on top of there. Fanboy. With some of Shane's mech aliens in there. Yes, fanboy. Shelby. Um, in that one, I have... Hang on. <laughs> I mixed all my setups. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> I've got the... That's the one. The custard butterscotch by the Vapor's Dozen. Um, I have the second setup. I've got the... the Demon RDA sat atop the the V boy, and in there I have some sticker bombs fruit salad, which came with a bunch of samples that I had. Um, it's pretty nice to be fair, and I don't normally like a fruit salad vape, but this has got like a candy sort of note to it, mm. um, like a more more like a sweet kind of thing. Yeah, not like the chew bar fruit salads, you know. Um, so it's quite nice. Um, and the last setup, I've got the genie with another bonzer on the top. Fun boy. And in there, in there, I have got some cush cake from Psycho Bunny. There I've never go. tried any Psycho but Oh, I've I got. Have. Sorry, I tell a lie. Yeah, I've had a I've couple of them. The one. Yeah, yeah, I put that one up from Expo. That one on the thorn. The best one, the best one out of their range, has got to be the well baked, in my opinion. Mm, that's good. That is the well baked is absolutely glorious. Um, and well, that is me for tonight. Well baked, the cherry bake well tart, isn't it? It is, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's very, very nice. So, Mr. Shane, what are you vaping on, sir? All right, not many tonight, I'm afraid. Um, I'm on my brush stainless dreamer with a, a bonzer look, man. I've got a bonzer. Yeah, <laughs> a bonzer. Bad boy. Yeah, and in that, I've got some. Um, Cream tea, which I made up from a concentrate I got from the guys over at the Isig shop, the Mixology, um, which is very nice. Um, I'm also on my Rage with my Drop Solo. And in there, I have something from the Bruise Bros. It's their Lemonade Bar range. Uh, this is Ooh. the Black Lemonade. That sounds like a hometown hero... Uh... Lemon, lemon bar, bar. Yeah, yeah it's not it's like they're all lemonade flavors there's four in the range there's there's a black currant lemonade there's a vintage cloudy lemonade uh there's a pink lemonade and the fourth one is like an apple like an apple tizer type apple tango type flavor which is Ooh, really that it's, sounds nice. it is it's really really nice and i'm gutted because while i was adding the nick shot i tipped half the bottle over all over me and the floor so oh, fuck. I only have 30 mil of that left <laughs> rather than 60. Um, I'm also on my Siggo tattoo with my Berserker. Um, and in that I've got my, my famous um, tobacco vape, which people seem to love. Um, mm. And then my creator with my um, Sherman. And in that I'm finishing the last of my cotton field cotton tail cream from lost art is that in bypass oh yes sorry i'm just sharing i'm just sharing yes some groups bypass mate 160 odd watts great chris what was the um the cushman uh juice that you got uh the strawberry and mango oh yeah i got the um, the best the one, the mango grape one. I think I got the best one out of all three of them to me is the banana one. I vaped it that much, I lost the flavour of the banana. I'm gonna say, but uh, banana can be a real hit and miss as well, can't it? Yeah, it, it, yeah. I thought it'd be awful because it's obviously with the mango base. Mm. But yeah, fuck me, banana <laughs> is gorgeous. I tend I like to find if you're not careful with banana vapes, they tend to be. A bit too much like foam bananas rather than actually like a banana. More. You're on Vapor's Dozen now, aren't you? Yes, I am, yeah. You need to try his banana milk. Yeah? I'll give that a, bla I'll give that a blast. I'll order Trust me, it, if you like McDonald's, it's exactly like a banana milkshake. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. I mate, I'll have to give that a try. I don't think I've had the Vapor's Dozen one, but I did have the other one um, that Beck recommended. Um, come uh, in the black, the black bottle. With the yellow, 
I've it, got to get this in a, in a big vapor. bottle. No, it wasn't Yorkshire Vapor. It was through, it was through your group. Um, which one was it? Blueberry, blueberry there Dodger. Was a, there was a, so fucking good. This there was is a, so good. It's like a banana custard. And then there's a there was a strawberry milk one as well. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to ask her. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. She gave me a discount code for it. Um... It is that is pure just awesomeness. It's so fucking tasty. Yeah. So come on, guys. Everyone, feel free to uh, share the stream. Let's get it. Let's get it out there. And uh... don't forget to smash the likes button. Mm. Yeah, and sub to Chris as well if you haven't already. Yeah. I thank you in advance. And uh, show all the associates of the show some love as well. Yeah. What? Uh, what's everyone in chat vaping on? I can see we've got a couple of people in there writing what they have got. Michelle B is on the rage with a recurve. Good setup. I've got mine here somewhere. Where have I fucking put it? Don't know where I put I it. Wasn't all, I'm not overly keen on the recurve, you know. It's all right. You've, I... got, you've just got to be careful when you if you over squonk it because it's. Like, there is not much tolerance for your juice. It can't I prefer the I prefer the solo to the recurve, hands down. I might, I might have to get one of those because I, I always find myself when I'm squonking with the recurve. I always find myself looking down the top to make sure I'm not over bollocks in it. Yeah. Uh, what I did is the reason I didn't like it at first is I was making the coils too high. Yeah. So. Or I did. Yeah, I if you have to make it line up with the actual airflow directly at it, mm. Mm. and then you get bars better forever. Good evening, Gillian. I didn't see you there, honey. Hi. Gillian's um, a non-vapor. She actually supports the show, and she doesn't vape. Oh, yeah, a regular. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Hello, um, Michelle B. Um, uh, there we go. Vi villages list will be immense, no doubt. <laughs> I've got the plus and the black carbon and the fat fatality. Ooh, nice combo. Very clever. Cosmonaut on the black and gold G class. Haku on the pumper. And then oh. Equitas on the Minikin V2. Should we, should we say that's an elitist? Oh, yeah. I was just yeah. going to say elitist. Village, village cannot go without. He's got serious shiny itis condition. Like um, a magpie. Haven't we all? No, village is terrible. Village is terrible. I mean, obviously, I wasn't on the show Saturday night with Pete, so I can ask Village this question: What have you bought? Because <laughs> <laughs> every every Saturday night we have to ask him what he's bought, because he's normally bought something. <laughs> John Nash, how are you doing? Good evening, John. How are you feeling, brother? Hope uh, everything's going well and things are on the mend again for you. Because I know Good you've had, you uh, chat, mate. I know you've had bad health problems, mate. So uh, thank you for tuning Expo? in. I can't wait. Oh, really cannot yes. wait for Expo. I, I will be there. Have you seen the floor plan? Yes. Yes. It's They've hired an extra hall. Huge. They've had to hire an extra I hall, so it's bigger than me. Uh, it wouldn't let me actually put the file on my group, so I posted the picture. And the pitch is like this. Yeah, it's massive. All I can say is I'm glad I'm hiring a scooter because I would not want to try and go around in a wheelchair in that. I want to get a video of me on his scooter going. <laughs> <laughs> no, by all means, people always nick it. Chris robbed it last year, last time. My when I first when I took my mate, uh, he's he's a big lad, uh, and. When the old stage was higher, he'd done a jump off it, went into balloons, <laughs> and popped all the balloons. Oh, and there we went, go. Oh, good. Village, Village has bought the goon, the new goon, and a B2K. Nice. I, got goon coming. I do I, like the look of the B2K. It's one on my list, actually. Did you see uh, Dwayne? Well, God damn. Did you see him doing a fucking flip over about five or six people? I think there was six or seven yeah, people on Chris's, yeah. on Chris's vlog, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Dwayne's a, a very talented um, free runner. Yeah, I just love the way he goes. God damn! damn. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, God damn! <laughs> I seen a video the other day of him dressing up like a pimp. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was the um, Asmodus fucking uh, Kodama or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be, it's, like, um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good in May, Michelle, because it'll be nice to actually meet you at last. Um, yeah, stood, I'll be going in May again. So. Stood, uh, I've already booked my hotel. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to book mine, I think, because this one's cost me too much. Even though I did book it like a month early, I it still it cost the me. Uh, the price has gone up to 90 quid. Was that per night or? No, that's for the full weekend. Yeah, I've got mine now. I've, mine's 100 and some, 175 for this one. What Back the fuck? Now. Yeah. And I booked mine a month ago, direct with... Oh, I booked, I booked it last month through the you Premier why, Inside. Because not a lot of many people are aware of this. Every time you search online, if you do not clear your history, the price is going to go up. Yeah. Okay, so I never knew that. Every time you do a search for a hotel or flights or anything like that, clear your history and search it again. Right, okay. That's, that's good information. Yeah, that is, yeah. I never knew that. That's probably why. Because it was cheaper the last time I looked before I booked it. And then it went... But then when I looked next time, the, the it was what booked up. What it does up. is it stores your information that you've been searching for. Mm, but I know... Companies like, oh, oh, he's interested. We'll yeah. But I know, like, the last time before I booked, when I looked, the, the, the hotel was booked up. And I thought, shit. So I kept checking to see if there was any rooms available so that about that's what it's done the more I've checked um, when the Bear final mind, was one the price had gone up that's for two of us that's for me and the wife yeah yeah I'm going to get mine booked for next year early good evening Danny Mr MBK hope you're well hello, mate hello MBK vape my reviews Danny honestly they get you by the balls like it's literally only a store throw away to the expo like Mm. Uh, it's a totally different hall this this month, isn't it? Yeah, it's the other end of the of the centre, I think, this time. Um, the I'm other, going the down other end from the Oh, I'll be fun then. Oh, fuck um, John, email me your address, mate, and I'll I'll send you some plain round wire. My after co- my after lung coils out on me, brother. Um, don't worry about buying wire. I'll I'll post you some out this week. All right, mate. Don't forget. To go on Big Boy Kyle's. Yep. And get yourself some lovely Kyle's. I've got them in here. And they are ch- 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 chucking. Guess what? I've got them in everything. <laughs> yeah, you would, wouldn't you? It'd be fucking weird if you didn't. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. And they come in nice little test tubes. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait to meet Michelle B because she apparently she's very, very little. How little? Like, like, little, like, little. like under five foot little. Dwarf what? little. Like under five foot little. Yeah. So next to me, she's gonna look like ickle, like Michelle in my pocket. <laughs> it's like my, it's like my mum. My mum's tiny. When obviously when I was growing up as a as a teenager, she used to say, "Oh, you little shit." But then, obviously, as I was growing up, it's like, oh, you big shit. <laughs> uh, yes, Danny, your coils are done and they should be in the post tomorrow. I'm six foot two and my mum's four foot seven. Uh, yeah, I'm good, thanks, Alfie. Hope you're well, mate. So, uh, have we got anything to talk about tonight, guys? Any topics you want to bring up? I'd like to bring one thing up. All right, go for it. Uh, as we're all vapors, I, need uh, back I would it. like people to support our friends over in the states. Uh, they are going through a really bad patch at the moment. Uh, there's got a bill called the SS319, mm-hmm. uh, where they're doing a flavor ban. So what the do, what the, the FDA are going to do, or looking to trying to do, is ban all flavors apart from tobacco and menthol on it. I think. No, menthol is included. Oh, they're trying to get rid of menthol as well. Jesus. Menthol as well, bye. Uh, and they're doing that by state by state. It's so ridiculous. If you go on iQuitSmokeAndByVaping.com uh, and there's a little sign 
on there. What you do is you right, you can Photoshop it on your phone, take a picture, uh, what you, how long you quit smoking for, and what you what flavour you quit on, and post it, and then just post it on Instagram, Facebook, and what they'll do is they'll send it to who they ever need, who they need to send it to. Yeah. You have to hashtag it as well, don't you? I think. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag. Yeah. Uh, I quit vaping with flavours or something in it. Yeah, adult adults like flavours. Two, yeah, something like that. It's all on the it's all on the site anyway. But uh, we really need our help, guys. Yeah, uh, no problem, Definitely. no problem, John. I'm more than happy to do that for you, mate. Um, Trust me, John. Awesome coils. I know things have been rough for you, so uh, sending you out a few mouth to lung coils isn't a problem. Um, <clears throat> and my toes. Are a bit tender at the minute. They're they're on that healing point where they're starting to heal, but they're really tender at the ends. Um, they are look, Michelle B's four foot six. Fucking hell! So next she's to me, small, it's she's smaller than my mum. She's smaller than my daughter. My daughter's twelve, and she's buddy five foot nearly. I got a, I got a bad neck on. Hi, Michelle. Uh, imagine next to me, I'm six four. <laughs> Good evening, John Christian. Hello, John. It's weird. Like my camera's here, my, my computer's here. Yeah. So like, you need to, yeah, you need to get. Um, see, I've got my camera on a tripod behind my screen now because I got my setup sorted. Man's so. not tall enough to go behind. Mm. I can make it taller. Yeah. But then. Are you be I'll be looking down at you. No, mine mine's actually I'll above the screen, but obviously you can angle the webcam so it's <clears throat> it doesn't look like it's tilted Hi, too much. Hi Jules. Hi Jules. Evening, Hi. Mama. Jules, I need to speak to you because I want one of them. Uh... You need a Dilligaff at your stand. Dilligaff, yeah. Dilligaff at your stand. One of these uh, beautiful, beautiful crafted pieces of kit. Anyone that hasn't got one. Needs to get over and check out Mr. Dillegaff. What? You got a torch on that? No, it's a downizer. No. Oh. <laughs> that looks. I really want one. It's awesome. Yeah, they do look cool as fuck. They're great. Really so, are. So nice when I'm doing my down low. Yeah, I know. Um, Pete's got one. He's gonna. He's gonna spray his. Because the light shines a bit too much of his with the light in that you use. Dilligaff, yeah. That sounds like a bit of a Jody Baxlang. <laughs> Good evening, Pete. Pete's actually made it. Pete, the washing machine man. Yeah, I actually I forgot to say I'm actually vaping on my mini fit as well and my uh, me one. <laughs> <laughs> on I don't know on if my me pod. To that, um... I don't know if he's listened to that uh, singing clip I put up. I don't. Know. He heard it. I I um I shared it with him. Oh, yeah. What over my microphone, he was he was he was surprised. He says you've got quite a good voice. That's all right. I've noticed your mic peaks out. Mine does. Yep. Yeah, we can't figure out what it is. Um, we've tried all sorts it, it with didn't it. Peak out with that software. But, no, it did. Um, I had it on when I was talking to Pete earlier, and it was still doing it. It does it every now and now and then. It's like if um, someone's vaping or talking, then I talk. It tends to dip, and uh, <clears throat> we don't know why. I some moon. Yeah, nice to see you, Caleb. <laughs> Yeah, mech mods. I don't like using my mech mods as an stand because they fall over too easy. <clears throat> Do you know what I use? There you go, Chris. Uh, my old coil master. Steve's bringing some to Expo. Oh, sweet. Well, yeah, I'm only there Saturday though, Steve. Because you've got your um, your new coil master one that I sent you, haven't you? That's b hey. That's mint. It's better <laughs> than the fucking this heap of shit. Yeah, the the second edition was loads better, I think, because um, my first one, the um, the board just fried out on it. And Do you know um, what I used to use though. I used to use my first ever mod, uh, mod that I bought, uh, an I Taste SVD, 
I used to put everything on that because I can. When I used to do the coils, I used to pop and grab all of it and go. Mm. Yes, I know, Richard. I've seen that the mini fit pods are rebuildable. Um, they will be getting rebuilt, and chances are I may actually record a video and post it up of doing it. They're point one six coils, aren't they? Yeah, well, I'm thinking about putting my um, my micro Maftalon Clapton's in it. I couldn't imagine how tiny the coils are in there. They're not that small. Well, I've um, you know, do you, do you remember the uh, the my jet that Wismec did? Yeah. Well, I I bought one of them from the states because you could rebuild the pods for that. Um, and I actually put a, a micro Clapton in there, and it worked brilliant. When you'd have to do something like a, a point uh, one and a half mil diameter. No, I think I did about two about two mil. I think I got in it. There's actually there's normally in the pods there's quite a bit of space, um, <laughs> but they don't utilise all the space. It you know just depends on what the battery thing fires. But hey, eh? what the fuck is going on with this? I think the no. best the best thing with the the mini fit is that because it's got the fire button, you can actually push the pod in and dry burn your coil. All right. Whereas on a lot of pod systems, because they're like draw to fire, you can't do that. Uh, the thing I do like about the mini fit is you can turn it off and on. Mm. A few clicks, chuck it, yeah, chuck it in your pocket. Jobs are good, and you know it's a nice little. Uh, good evening, Mister Dilly Gaff, my sexy bastard. Oh, hi, nice Steve. Steve. Looking forward to Expo, mate. Need a big, big man hug coming. I'm already there this Saturday. I can't interact with a lot of people. I can, just the Saturday. Yeah. I'm setting off at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be doing that on a Friday morning. <laughs> Put that tongue away. <laughs> um, what, is that what, you, is that what you've used in the Mini Fit, Richard? 2mm 30 gauge. Stainless good steel. good evening, Jess. Hope you're well. Hi, Carls. What do you think, Jess? Do you like the new uh, the new logo at the top there? Look, promoting your shop for you. I thought I'd be kind. Because <laughs> um, once your online store gets going, um, I'll push that a bit more. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, there you go, Steve. They're there Thursday till Sunday, so you'll be fine. Thursday yeah. to Sunday. Yeah. Oh, the, Jules is travelling from Scotland, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going. I'm going up on the Thursday and coming back either late Sunday or Monday, as far as I know. I refuse to leave until they shut the that door on the Sunday. I'm like <clears> the <throat> last one there. <laughs> Yeah, we were the last ones there. You're there. You're May. there, waiting for them to announce this expo is now closing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You we were all sat in a fucking circle on the floor. There was me, Bogan, um, Daz, the guy that runs the shop that I went with. Mm. Um, there was Heathen, um, blah, 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 Brian, Mike Vapes, Brian. Yeah, Brian was there. Um, what do you think? J- what do you think what do you was think, there uh, as well. What do you think of Brian's new uh, mod? Have you seen oh, it? The top side. The top, the top side. side. I like the look mm. of it. I like. I like the design. I, do, I must admit, I do like the design. I'm very surprised that it took someone that long to come up with that idea of a top fill squonk system. I've got a little bit of in, inside information. I'll discuss this after the live. All right. Okay. It's a personal bit of discussion. That one is it. Yes. Yeah, I was talking to him about um, the mod he was working on back mm. in May. He he told me a bit of stuff, and he said, "You didn't know he had anything. it at Expo, don't you?" Yeah, yeah, he had it with him. Yeah, yeah he was like this. And Mike Vapes is uh, Mike Vapes had his mod with him at Expo as well. Yes, well, uh, <clears throat> I have got it. They had the drop dead as well, didn't they? With them. I have got it. Yeah, but the wife's pinched it. Hmm. Yeah, he said. Uh, well, top it'll, side. It'll show me now because my phone no, is back in my the pocket. recurve, the recurve squonk. Oh, the squonk mod, yeah. Mm. I've not, I've not tried that. I'll be honest. 
I've got the box. <laughs> Just no, no mod. Uh oh, spaghettios. <clears throat> but if you really want a good idea, I mean, a really good idea is the profile. Yeah, I've not tried that yet either. It's a mesh. It, it's a mesh idea. Yeah. And trust me, the wife has had the same coil, the same mesh coil in, and the same wick for over two weeks. Oh, Cows has got a top side. Nice. How are you <laughs> finding it, Cows? <laughs> Lucky bugger. Not jealous much. <laughs> All right. There we go. Yeah, Jules says if we don't say we're discussing shit after the show, or I will join in after. <laughs> have you seen that? Um, have you seen that RDA, which is like a flat um, heating element, like sit sitting flat, almost oh, flush with the deck? The looks like a... It looks like those bit. old those electronic like heating elements for lighting cigarettes. Up. Mm, looks like similar no. to that. Yeah, it looks like a like a hot plate. Yeah, hot plate. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't know what it's called, but I've seen it. Mm. Oh, I've got a itchy nose. It I've mean... seen a top side down like view of it. Doesn't Looks mean... interesting. I've seen it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Don't ring a bell with me. I don't think I've seen it. I'll be honest. Wow, um, it must be good if you shelf. Fill me in on the sly. <laughs> It must be good if Cal's has shelved his rage. <coughs> yeah, um, I, I, I'm exactly the same. I prefer RDAs to squonking. Like the only squonker I've got is the rage, um, and that's the only one I'll probably buy. I've got two. I've got the rage with the Reka, with the reverie on it. Mm. What batteries? Mm. Yeah, reveries uh, might be good, isn't it? It is when you oh. put dual coils in it. I love, I love the reverie. I've got it in green. Um, uh, I'm not. I'm not a fan of it in single coil. So really, yeah. There's not enough air there for me on that reverie. I'm afraid. Sorry about the build, but it's been in quite a while. But yeah, yeah. You should um, remind me the week before Expo, Chris, and I'll make you up a set of the aliens that I had in mind. Uh, I got dual coil aliens in my reverie, and it it was epic. It was a proper warm, dense vape. Then, really, really was. I like a warm, dense vape, but the flavour out of this for a single coil is awesome. I find that with the drop as well, though. With the drop solo, it's got a fantastic flavour. Um, I've got that, but I've never tried it yet. And you know, you can get you can. I mean, you look at the size of the deck; you can get a fair size coil in it as well. Do you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of the Death Wish. Oh, the um, Death Trap. That's the one. This one. Because that's a single coil as well, isn't it? It is, but the problem I have with the Death Trap because um, there's two. I'm just itchy today. I think it's because I'm warm. There's two. There's two versions. Isn't there? There's a thirty mil and the twenty four mil of the Death Trap. Um. That's better. The death trap is, is sing, yeah, same same single coil setup, but it's a clamp. Yeah. Obviously, it's a clamp <clears throat> setup. Um, but the problem I have with the death trap is the airflow. It is way way too restricted. Really restricted. I mean, there's two holes, two holes airflow. Yeah. Which come mm. in the back side of it, so the air comes from behind and under your coil. Um, I think they should have added airflow to the front of it as well. Like one single hole, for example. One, like one hole each side. Whereas on the drop, you've still got the same airflow that you've got on the normal size drop. You've got What's the it two... like a squonking though? What the... Don't you have it as a squonker? What, the drop? Yeah. It's on me rage. So it's squonk it all the time. It's all some, I people, use. some people just don't use it as a squonker. It's all I use it as is on a squonker, this one. <clears throat> Good evening, Captain Average. Good evening, James. Hello. Can I be a little bit of an elitist and just show them all something? Okay, go for it, mate. Be as elitist go as on. you like. Oh, Rig pig. Look at that. You yeah. see that there? I've seen that one before. Yeah. yeah. That's signed by American Maid himself, James. Elitist. 
Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how much I paid for this? No. Yeah, I remember you, I, I remember you telling me that one. Yeah. I no. won it, right? I won it. <coughs> first ever vape expo, uh, three, two or three years ago, uh, and <clears throat> for me to win it, I'd done a dry hit, and for the rest of the expo, I was talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> So every so, time someone was coming up to me and going, hello. You were talking like you were still smoking like 80 a day. <laughs> well, yeah. I love Fucking that. more jam than Hartley's, mate. Fair play. Yeah. I 100, 160 watts dry hit. Oh, oh, fucking hell. That's brutal. And I won it on a Minikin V2 with a Twisted Messers uh, claw and RD on it. Nice. Yeah, it's, you, you've got a busy week. You've got a busy few weeks ahead of you, James, that's for sure. Because um, people that don't know, Steam Master is a shop up in Atherton near Manchester. which um, Manchester! Which Manchester. I've uh, got a bit involved with. Um, and they're having a massive refurb done at the Atherton store. And it's going to look epic. Always, always support your brick and mortar shop. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, we was on about this on um, Sabs last night. The thing about it, we have a couple of shops in, in Stockton. Yeah. Uh, and one of them, I will not go to because he's never up to date and his, his prices are so expensive. Mm. Uh, the Minican V2s, when they come out, uh, he got them about a couple of months later and he was charging 110 For the V2, standard V2? For the standard Minican V2. Jesus! V2. Fucking hell. What? I bought a DNA fucking mod for that price. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But that's the only shop. Uh, but he, the customer service is far ban on. It, it's brilliant. But it's just expensive. Yeah. It's like the V Boy. I managed to get the V Boy for fucking like 47 quid or, or 57 quid or something. Mm. Cheap as fucking chips, mate. You see, oh, they were over at they were over dollars for this shipped. From the states, I like yeah. that. I yeah. like that a lot. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so I mean, where I am, we've got a couple of vape shops. Um, one I will not go to because they're just after money. There's nothing else. There's no passion there. There's nothing. Um, the other one, the guy often comes in chat. Uh, Rob vapes. Mm. Um, yeah, I've seen him about. He runs the other shop that I go to, which is called Phoenix Vape Lounge. Um, lovely, lovely shop, but obviously he's competing with another shop, and the other shop was there first, so they've got the customer base, yeah. and it's hard for him to get that cust the customer base to switch. Um, people sort of get stuck with one shop, don't they, and don't tend to venture. Yeah, you get that. Um, uh, but um, if I go to a shop and their customer service is hell. Like the go above and beyond to help mm. you. That's where I go. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, we 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 touched on this a little bit on Sabs last night. Like I was saying about the advantages of buying something from a brick and mortar. Like, say you bought a mod or a piece of hardware and something went tits up with it. If you bought it online, you've got the hassle of fucking reparceling it and sending it back, especially if you buy it from China, for instance. You have, but a lot, of the, a wrong. lot of a lot of the, these online ones will cover the shipping costs, though. Yeah, yeah, There's but a what lot I'm of them saying will is, cover it. it's easier to go to your brick and mortar, especially if it's close to you. Oh yeah, and and they can do a straight swap a lot of the time. Mm. Yeah, and they will do the returns. Like, yeah. but then you then you get some brick and mortar shops that are in it just for the money. Yeah. Uh, you'll go in. You'll go. Oh, this is not. This is not working. Oh, did you? Are you sure you've done it properly? Not your fault. Mm. No, it's like I used to work in a vape shop, and uh, we all, <clears throat> whenever we sell um, a piece of ha like a mod or something like that, we used to sign the receipt, write down what it was, the the mod and the colour, sign the receipt. That gives you a thirty day warranty. The only thing that ain't covered is the charger port because. A lot of people are fucking clumsy with the charger ports. Yeah. yeah. But we do tell every customer that the only thing that isn't covered is the charger port. Well, you see, technically by law, um, anything that's electrical is covered with six months. Always buy 
an external charger. Yeah. But, yeah. But, but, it's thirty day warranty with the shop, but six months with the manufacturer. Six months with the, the manufacturer. Distro. Yeah, you've got yeah. A, a six months. Um, yeah. Warranty with it, with anything that's electrical. Sorry, I'm I'm not even looking in chat. I'm, I do apologise. Um, I'm a bloke, I can't move Yeah, that. I agree there, Matt. You know full well I do a lot of my buying online being disabled because you just can't get out to the brick and mortars as easy. Um, That's why I want... Uh, I want to have my own vape shop. And so up here, up way up north, mm. I'm closer to Jules than I am anyone else. Uh, yeah. We have a lot of villages and stuff like that that don't have vape shops. Mm -hmm. So it'd be nice to have a vape shop where I can just go, right, the old deer up the road, ran out of coil, she's got no juice, dial of it. Mm, yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, 100%, Jess, I'll agree with you there. You have. You're great with customers. Um, I've Whenever I've been up at the shop, uh, up at Steam Master, I can never fault any any of the staff for customer service. Um, they all do a great job. I wouldn't know. It's too far for me to travel. Yeah, but like I say, anyone that's up in that area, definitely, you know, go and check them out. Um, probably got one of the biggest juice ranges I've ever seen. Um, I think it's something like over a thousand different flavor, over a thousand different juices that they what? stock. Seriously, yeah. Jesus. Seriously, mate, it, it is ridiculous. Both the, the two shops that I've been to. Uh, a macchiata, caminata, syrup juice. Mm. <laughs> The shop I used to work at has got um, between six and eight hundred different flavors in it. It's fucking the juice wall is massive. It's yeah. eight foot tall and about oh, fucking hell, four or five meters long. Yeah, fucking massive. Definitely. Uh, well, here's a question for you then: If you have to pick one juice, and it's to be your favorite, what favorite juice would it be? For me. Or for people in chat? For everyone. Everyone in chat. Everyone um, on the panel. Even go Darren. Shane, even you mate. go first Hi, for that one. Um, Jesus. For me, it, it, it'd have to be a custard of some description. Um, But I've vaped that many custards, it's hard to pin on one. Um, I know the Grant's, the, the version of the Grant's custard that I make is fucking epic um or i'll be honest i could happily probably vape my tobacco all day all, all day every day i said one mm. just one not a multiple <laughs> i'll let mm. everyone know mine if they brought back the old old style uh mad hatters peach taffy i love that mm. what would mine be but it had to be in the glass 60 mil bottle. Oh, we know uh, yours, Matt. Yeah, EVC killer custard. It's all you ever smell. When I when I took Matt down to um, vape jam this year, all my car smell of was killer custard all the way there. I tell you what, if you like your custards, there's one that I stumbled across. Um, if I could find it. Is that that one you were telling me about? I forgot the name of it. It tastes exactly like tinned custard. Speak it's, of the devil. Evening, it, Rob. It <laughs> Rob's in the chat. Glorious. Hi, Rob. Ah, Rob. Um, I forgot to tell you. Um, you know, you were talking about the shop and everything, trying to, you know, increase customers and all that sort of stuff. Um, Dripping custard. custard. Oh, my fucking God. Tr you have to get it in your life. It is hands down the best custard I have ever tasted. Ever. And, and I've been vaping Expo. four years. Eh? I'm there at Expo. I don't know. I don't know. We had a sample in at the shop. And uh, I was like, I'm badgering the guy that runs it. I'm like, you need to get this juice in. It's so mm. fucking good. And yeah. if he doesn't, I'm giving him another week or two. And if he doesn't get in, I'm fucking buying a couple of bottles of it. Cause... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rob, man, I've, like... um, I'm going to send... <laughs> Rob, I'm going to send you over... Captain Average's details um, in the chat. He's uh, offered his services to you to give you, you know, any advice you want regarding the shop, etc. Um, obviously, they run a very successful shop up in Manchester, very successful um, line of shops. Manchester. Manchester. Um, a good juice, which I 
well, there's two juices that I enjoy the shit out of, and one of them is Marshmallow Man 3, which is like the strawberry marshmallows. I really could not get away with that. Oh, mate, and I want them to bring Honey Bear back. Did you guys ever try Honey Bear? Fucking hell. Mm. I tell you what, if that if that is in... Like, the guy that runs the shop, right, his old man, was sitting there with a bottle of zero milligram, just dripping it on his finger, and he was fucking eating it. <laughs> <laughs> he was watching TV, just like... But Empire they... Brew smashed ice, cr- ice lemonade. Mm. Mm. Um, Crow Nuts is a good one. Cronuts um, and Marshmallow Man 3, which is fucking glorious. Mm. I like this, but I like the coconut cake one better. I've not really had a coconut vape. Um, no, well, not I've that not I could remember, a... anyway. It's, I know. Subtle, it's not like a full hit coconut in your face. It's no. a very mm. subtle coconut. So it's. I caned a 120ml bottle in four days. Really, Jess? You telling me it wouldn't be my tobacco? That's it. That's it. No, not having that. <laughs> um, uh-oh. Mine would probably be Mad Hatter. I love cookies. I love or I love cookies. I love cookies too. It's a second version of it. Ah, I didn't know. <laughs> Mad, I didn't know Mad Michelle done her own juice. No, it's not her. This one's good. It's the company Mad Hatter. Oh, Mad Hat. Mad Hatters, yeah. This one's good. Oh, the deep fried ice, grip fried ice, yeah. Yeah, the butterscotch ice cream. The why aftertaste. Would you, why would you deep fry ice cream? It's That's awesome. No idea. Deep fried ice cream works. Real life deep fried ice cream is mega. I've oh. never tried it, and I will never will. It's a Mexican. Would... It's a Mexican thing. Um, they they wrap the ice cream in a pancake, and I then deep it. fry. Yeah, when deep then kid, deep fry it. Buttered Snickers from the chippy. Oh yeah, battered Mars bars. Oh yeah. Yeah. I remember when they first ever did them. Battered Mars bars rock. You used to go to the shop, buy a snicker, then go to the chippy and go, Can you batter that for me? Yeah, fifty pence. Mm. Yeah, job done. <laughs> One of my I I used to love the, um pea fritters as well. Mushy pea fritters, mate, at the chip shop. Awesome. Oh, mushy pea fritters. Yeah, it's you like get... fucking ri- those wrissole things. What I've you do never is you have a wrissole. Like, a lot of chippies around here will use the day before mushy peas that are left from the day before. Let them go cold and you can make a ball out of them. Batter the ball, deep fry it. <laughs> then take it out, batter it again and then deep fry it. And it's I'm just mega. You, if you have uh, mushy peas. Mega. Jizz. We all know <laughs> Jules, you'll love jizz. Yeah. Jules, give me your jizz. <laughs> I want sure jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overdrip. <laughs> and that's it now. Jess is torn. She doesn't know. She's confused. Look, she forgot about my tobacco. <sighs> oh, dear. oh, oh dear, oh dear. You've not tried my tobacco, have you? Chris? Yeah, you, you jammy sod. You're getting a dull down. I know. You haven't tried my tobacco, have you? I haven't no. I can't get away with tobacco flavor. No, no. Trust me. This ain't. This ain't a tobacco like you'd ever known. Yeah, I was surprised by that. Anyone that's vaped it will tell you it is not tobacco like you've ever tasted before. Yeah, I can't stand tobacco-flavoured liquids, um, but I was really surprised by that. It is fucking lovely, lovely, lovely. I got my dad one before. It tastes like Golden Virginia. Uh, You know when you're priming your corn, you... I'm like... Yeah. "Mm." Uh, uh. (laughs) Yeah, no, mine's more of a higher-end tobacco. It's more of a cigar... Cigar flavour, uh, but it's very subtle. Cigar. Yeah, it's very subtle, um, but it's got coconut and vanilla. Um, there's a hint of cinnamon Danish in there. It's it's really really Moorish. Yeah, guys, don't forget to smash that like button. No worries, what John. Watching. Take care, John. Bye, John. See you later, John. <laughs> 20, Twenty likes and forty-three people watching. There's a. Uh, I bet there's probably quite a lot out there that want that vindicator as much as you, Rob. <laughs> Would anyone like a vindicator? Uh, evening, clown. Good evening, Mister Clown Vape. Ah, there you go, fellow vaping with the homies. Yeah. Clown is. Clown would be the best person to tell you about what I was saying earlier about the SS three three nineteen. 
Mm. Uh, yeah, I've got it so rough. Well, look, if you ever want to get on, clown, um, hit us a message up, mate, and we'll have you on as a guest. Not a problem. Yeah. Um, anyone from the from vaping with the homies that wants to come on and talk about all your problems in the states. If anyone's up at one a.m., uh, vaping with the homies is on tonight mm. uh, at one a.m. Yeah, I normally watch it. I'm normally up. <laughs> You're a night owl, you. I know, mate. I know. I'm joys of a past six every morning. So it's the joys of uh, joys of opiate medication. I'm afraid. <clears throat> Keeps you wide awake. Walls. We don't need to know about grinder. Yep. Oh fucking hell! Let's not start in again. <laughs> <is it? laughs> I didn't even fucking know what it was. So get fucked. What are you lying Whoever for, you Mo? Are, you what, are you lying? what are you lying Who's for? Who's fucking writing it down now this time? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was. I'm never going to live that down. No, you're not. <laughs> Evening sub vapes. <laughs> You know when something comes out of your mouth and you try and snatch the words away? Oh, mate. <laughs> Fuck. You need to have uh, the remote off uh, click. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been really handy. <laughs> I love that film. It's great. Yeah, it's really My favourite one's Happy Gilmore. Sorry. Uh, yeah. It's a class film. I'll tell you what, Caleb, <laughs> I had um I tried a juice at Expo last October, um, and it was a like a replica of a Monte Cristo cigar. And damn was it good. Uh, I was a I was a I was a King Edward man. It was um it was a Canadian company um that were doing it. So alright, yeah. so there we go. Vaping with the Omis tonight's on a Frames Janklin's channel. So if you're not subbed, go over and sub and give it a watch if you're awake. James, we started this YouTube channel and so far he's over 120 subscribers. Rocking it, rocking it. <laughs> Village, does Mo want to oh, borrow a shovel for red. the hole or has he hired a JCB? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, the thing is, where Mo is, it's a sheep grinder, isn't it? Fucking sheep grinder. John, woolly, uh, woolly, uh, woolly, we need to buy more woolly. signs saying no access. Yeah, <laughs> it's a woolly, <laughs> woolly grinder. <laughs> Good evening, Stephen Brooks. Hello, Stephen. Sticks mix high end tobacco concentrates. All right, yeah. I don't need tobacco concentrates, cows. I've got one. If I, if I, right. have a, if is, I your sent... tobacco, is your tobacco better in a mouth to lung or a sub -on? You can take it either way, mate. Because yeah. um, I um, <laughs> when, <laughs> when I mix it, when I mix it, I can I either do it, <laughs> I either do it with um, Nick Salt, so I've got Nick Salt nicotine. Um, so I either do it with Nick Salt at high milligramage or. I can do it. Nixol is the new. It's it's going to be more popular. Mm. It's just a shame that Nixol is too expensive to buy. It's not. It is. No, it ain't. It's like what two quid for a bottle for a, a Nick shot. You don't buy Nick shots. You buy the fucking. You actually buy the Nixol in a big bottle. <laughs> Bye, Michelle. Bye, Michelle B. Night, Michelle. Take care, honey. Yeah, no, I get the. Um, Actual nick salt nicotine. No, you have to send me a link. Yeah, we'll do, mate. Not a problem. Um, I think it's a hundred mils is about nine, about nine quid. <laughs> so it, it is, it is dearer than normal nicotine, but obviously you're not using as much because you you're vaping lesser quantities, aren't you? Yeah, it, it hits um, you a lot easier. It... I mix, I mix my tobacco up usually at about. 18 20 milligram yeah with the nick salts and it's as smooth as a whistle um and then i mixed the last lot i mixed up i made i made some for jess in a three milligram which she uses in a normal tank so yeah you can have it either way um oh yeah but average um 
average, the uh, price of a Nick shot of Nick salts is normally about two quid on top. Excuse me, guys, my phone's ringing. This is probably urgent, so give me a second. Yeah, just. I'm in the library! (laughs) (laughs) And he's gone. Uh, Yeah. It's a proper delay, this, isn't it? It's like. Yeah, there's a 10 second delay, roughly, between uh, what we see on the VC call to the YouTube. Yeah, if you're only using three milligram, then it is pointless. There's no point. Not really, because you you can get three milligram nick salt now. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can. I mean, some of the juices, yeah. Um, a lot nick of the nick salt is more I know, better for you. I know all the all the nick shots that Zap do are all nick salt based. Yeah. Now, um, I, yes, I know you do, Jess. I will. I was at Expo in May, and some. I tried the. Uh, what was it? The aloe vera. Yeah, I, I didn't get. I didn't try that one. I just didn't like the sound of it. I was very, very surprised. I think I said to the missus, "I'm vaping on aloe vera." She was like, "What?" And trust me, it's really nice. Uh, I know you love my juice in your mouth, don't you, Rob? <laughs> well, vapes never try and nick salt. How does the milligram equate to? Kuwait <laughs> to normal Nick 72 stuff you use it in exactly the same way yeah you use it slightly It's you get more of a hit it's not a harsh yeah. hit with, no, it's, it's not as harsh a hit team, you'll get the throat hit Yeah. with Nick Salt it's you, just plain it's smooth. smooth but vaping Nick Salt even in a high milligram I'm vaping what's this one at the minute uh, this one's 12 milligram that makes this tobacco up, um, and it's as smooth as zero. You're not really getting a throat hit at all, but you're still getting the nicotine, which is how I like it. Because I personally, I don't like much of a throat Hi, hit. Thank See you later, clown. In. Take it easy, bro. Um, personally, I don't like much of a throat hit. I don't enjoy it. Um, yeah. I like a nice smooth vape. So that's why I like. The Nick Salt. Um, I've never not used the Alfie, the Bassium. I've seen it. Two seconds, lads. Yeah, no worries, Mo. Um, I've not used the Bassium. I've seen it, but I've not I've held. It. I've not held it or anything I like held that. It at Expo in May because I was speaking to Dean, mm. and he showed me it because I was like, "Oh, then what's what's the big reveal?" Mm. And he's like. This. Yeah, it's. I like the idea behind it with the the, the tray that will take various different swamp bottles. I like it. It's making you test your batteries. Mm. So, for example, if your batteries do need rewrapping, then you will need to. Sorry about that, lads. Urgent phone call. That's all right, mate. It was grinder. <laughs> <laughs> it was his. Uh, Booty call for after the show. <laughs> like an L chance would be a fine thing. Literally be a booty call as well. <laughs> are you a top or a bottom though, Mo? I can't. <laughs> well, are you a postman or are you a post box? <laughs> oh dear. I don't I'm not into men, okay? Let me clear this up. <laughs> is he a plug or a chain? Is he a plug or a socket? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> the bass team is a bag of shit. Everyone, everyone's different, isn't it? All right, James. Sounds good to me, mate. Oh, my dear Lord. Yes, Rob, we know. Vindicator, that's all you've got your brat. The one mech I'd really love to, to have um, is the Brizzo. The broadside Brizzo. Yeah, cheers, oh, that's Irish. The one with a little button on the, the bottom, isn't button it? Button bottle fire, yeah. Um, uh, Scott, I think absolutely. He's aware of them. Uh, but, Corey, but, he's on mm. with the armies. He's Poontos McNasty. Mm. Oh, we've lost Chris. Ah, oh, there you go. You're back. <laughs> um, hey. Sorry, right, Chris lagged out a bit on my screen. Then that was all. Uh, I'm saying Poontos McNasty has got one. Yeah. But, um, uh, 
I'm on Discord with all the vapes do a lot. Um, yeah, Danny, I, I keep getting... Fun. Swaggins keeps telling me to join it, but I keep forgetting. It's a, it's a brilliant chat, I t- yeah. tell you. But there's a lad called Danny Castle who lives in California. He's literally a stone throw away from Kennedy. Yeah. So he went into Kennedy. Uh, have you heard of uh, No Cal Sick Boy? Yep. Yeah, yeah. 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 Chuck, Danny, yeah. Danny Castle bought No Cal Sick Boy a Vindicator with his name on it. Nice. From mm. Kennedy themselves. They actually walked, he went into the... In the, the warehouse and the machine did right in front of him. Oh, Fucking man. hell, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, $150 the year. That's not bad though, is it? Really? Um, Scott, uh, Black Cat Whiteface, has got the Brizzo and he absolutely loves it. Absolutely loves it. But um, I must admit, I'm certainly starting to prefer 21700 batteries myself. That's what I'm running in my dreamer. Mm. Um, yeah, I want the Invader V4, so I can get some 21700s. Uh, 30Ts, bitches. 30Ts. Mate, I love that mod. It's so fucking cool. Yeah, I'm on the, uh, I'm on the actual, <laughs> I'm on the actual proper 30Ts. But... Sorry, these are a proper 30Ts. Yeah, I know they are. They're just rewraps here. Yeah. I like the wiring in there as well. Looks smart as fuck. Well, uh, I don't know if I can get in there close. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Yellow oh. is my favourite, favourite colour. Yay. It's also got a voltmeter on it as well. But yeah. yellow. What the fuck is going on? Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, um, See, that's, that's what, what I think fills. they should have done here. Like, look at all that wasted space right there. Yeah, they yeah. could have put a voltmeter in there. The yeah. fucking well, you've, got P- you've got a PMW in it. There isn't actually a PWM in them. It's the, the voltage not, meter. Yeah, it's a potentiometer. It's not a PWM. Yeah, potentiometer, though. yeah. Because there's, there's a big difference. A PWM um, is actually a pulse with modulation, yeah. whereas uh, that's just a potentiometer, which is just a variable voltage device. Yeah, some you can go up to three hundred watts. Three hundred and sixty or something, I think, depending on your build. Yeah. Have you ever but... been that high? Eh? That's a question. Have you ever been that high? You... On. On this fucking thing, I have. He Here's certainly that, wouldn't it? want to put my mech aliens up at that fucking full whack, mate. I tell you now. Is that the noisy cricket? <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, Mo. Drip. Drip. Just them under me- four hundred watts. I had on one of these fucking things. Drip them. Never me- again. Drip them mech aliens up a mine on your invader and turn it up full whack, and take your top cap <laughs> off and just show how aggressive it is. What? Crank watch this you- fucker up now. Watch, watch his cotton ball. <laughs> That's right, I got some right next to me so I can re wick on the show, it's all good. Yeah. Right, let me just drip up before I do this, because they're fucking violent on the oh, lower yeah. setting. I need to ask, and I'm in search for some new cotton, uh, so what would people mm. recommend? Mm. Apart from cotton bacon prime, because I do I not use the like fuzz. cotton bacon. Fuzz. I've tried fuzz. That can of cotton's pretty good. Can of cotton's good. Or oh, bomb fluff. <laughs> fucking awesome mate it is fantastic hmm. I got it at Expo um, they were doing two packs for a fiver I've been using this and I bought it from Expo look how so- oh I hate fucking fusion look how look how, how nice that is lovely lovely cotton yeah this is on very nice this is on one uh, thing away from maximum right so if my camera will focus, whoops, there it is. Yep, so that's on four. Yep. That's on four. Look at this. I'm standing back because this is like fucking fireworks. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! Yeah. You bastard! When I run my mech aliens on a potentiometer mod, I run it like one and a half. <laughs> right. This is on full tilt now. Full five. Okay. I would juice that up if I was you. <laughs> All right, I will actually. It's still sopping wet, just how I like it. I love native wet. <laughs> we we love it wet, don't we? Everything's gonna be oh, wet. Absolutely. Right, here we go. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's not enough life in the batteries left. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let's see how how high I can get it. Oh what? Come on, don't be a dick. 
Oh, shit, he's probably turned it off. No, I haven't turned it off. Yeah, it's flashing at me. Cunt. <laughs> my coils have broken his mod. <laughs> no, I've just sapped all the life out of my fucking batteries. Oh, Your no. Your aliens are, Shane, are awesome. Yeah, you... You you're using you've got twenty one seven hundred, don't you? Yeah, right. I'll make I'll make you up a set of my uh, special ones. Did I did I did I did I send you some or not? The the Nitro nineties. Yeah, I told you to make them. What, what no? What the four cores? Yeah. The the Ni nineties point oh seven to point oh nine. Yeah. 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 They're awesome on twenty one seven hundreds, aren't they? I love thirty twos. But think about it, though. Company take a now. draw on this. Fucking hell! Is it a bit warm, <laughs> mate? Is it a bit warm? <laughs> Holy shit! You can't even see me. It's a white out. Wow! Good Those evening, Mech John. Best. Something else, mate. The flavour. Now, Village, I use nothing but Muji in my RTAs, but not in my RDAs. Near Wick Premium Platinum, uh, best cotton I've ever tried. Uh, every cotton on the market, I buy every cotton that comes out. Yeah, there's that much cotton, but I'm fine in with with Fusion. It's just burning straight out. Yeah, I don't think it's dense enough, Fusion. I find, like with most cottons, you can see which way the fibres are running, can't you? Yeah. With fusion, you can't. You tear it anywhere and it just fucking breaks up. It's just like one big clump of cotton rather than, than fibres. And I don't like it. I find that with cotton bacon. I just don't like how cotton bacon... I I don't like how, the, how it tastes. To be honest, I get quite an horrible taste from cotton bacon. I can't find it of wick, unless... Native wicks. Um, like Kendo's good, Kendo Gold, but it takes a, um, about a month to break in. I've got a feeling. <laughs> I've Chris. got a pack of that in there. Yeah. I used it once. And I'm like, Ugh. yeah. It takes I, so long, but once it breaks in, it's actually really good. I have a feeling. Uh, Crazy Wire do native wicks. <clears throat> I have a funny feeling. So I used to buy it before. It was like five pound forty nine for a bag. <clears throat> Yeah. But everyone's raving about this swag cotton. Yeah, swag's meant to be pretty good. And um, they're at Expo. Well, Jules should know. She thinks Jules is sponsored by swag, aren't you, Jules? You lucky git. What? Jules is sponsored by swag. Yeah, and Subbo. Haven't you seen a tattoo? <laughs> yeah, I will be... Um, and you I see, will you be, seen uh, it, Chris? No, I haven't seen a Jules, tattoo. I've Jules seen. has actually got Subbo tattooed on her. Yeah, that's going to be on the start of my video. Was that at Manchester? Soon. Yeah. I watched a go of that. Yeah, she had it done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want me to write an article for the magazine, so... Oh, for Suburb? Yeah, uh -huh. yep. Wow. And they also want pictures of my coils for the front cover. So, yeah, they said um, they want me to write an article and they'll they'll put a... Uh, I'll have the sub home thing on my videos then. Who's yeah. who's PP? Who, who do I need uh, PP touch to get a uh... PPs? Oh, PP touch. PP like that. I need a tip, mate. I need a tip. <laughs> uh... Uh, yeah, native wicks. Um... Four pound forty nine. Five pound forty nine. Am I right? Crazy wire. Yeah, five forty nine. Um, another cotton they do, which I quite enjoyed when I bought it, was flash wicks. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Uh, they do crazy wire sell one called flash wicks. What's uh, up, Mike? Good Hello, evening, Mike. Mike's Mech reviews. My brother from Mind another mother. House. Yeah, I've heard good things about uh, that white stuff as well. That Thanks for having me on yesterday, Mike. By the way. Really enjoyed it, mate. But yeah, I got a uh, flash wicks from Dingy, and it's quite good. You should see the wick for the profile. Oh Honestly, yeah, like, like six, six mil diameter. Yeah, but, but Tofo do the shoelace one, don't they? Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I'm waiting for some to arrive. I've ordered some of the Firebolt well, cotton. Caleb's. Nice one, Caleb. Yeah, nice one, man. How's he, get, how's he getting on with it, Cal's? I'm shit at pronouncing names, I tell you. <laughs> I thought Siobhan was Siobhan. <laughs> <laughs> Siobhan. <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, Caleb, if you're not using them for taking pictures and stuff, as long as they perform all right, that's all that matters. Just go like this, Shane. What? You see where I'm pointing at? What, your hat? For you. No, for you. Taking pictures. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, if you don't need for taking pictures, mate, just fucking... Just mech them how you can. You can't go wrong with 24 gauge, 5 wraps on a 3 mil bit. Point two. Mm. Evening, Danny Thompson. Yeah. Hello, I've, Danny Thompson. I've not forgotten about you, mate. Honestly, I haven't forgotten. Um, I will get round to your email this week. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Nice one, Cows. That's all that matters, <laughs> mate. Like I say, you know it's the only swivel system I'll ever use, mate. I can just imagine more, right? You go out on a night out with more. You belly you be in kinks all night. I oh, thought my fucking sides were hurting at fucking Chris's shop. <laughs> it was seriously. Wait till Expo, mate. Wait till Expo. Mate. My sides were killing me. Ah, oh, that's a right. good laugh. My missus loves it when I get proper when I, I laugh properly. She says I've got a girl's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and the proper increase in, in, increases. She's like, yeah. she laughs at me because I've got a girl's laugh. <laughs> yeah, mine's not far off the same. <laughs> <laughs> Vic fucking named me the fucking hyena on the when I was on uh, the UK vape show. That's where the it, hyena it, fucking name came there. from. Eh? All I use is had that white stuff. Sussex vape shop online stocks it. Mm. Michelle stocks it, does she? Yeah. Uh. Mm. I've noticed she's got the new uh, Dead Rabbit RTAs in Yes, though. she has. <laughs> yes, Danny. Yep. Nice one, Alfie. Sounds good to me, mate. I love a shop order. Um, also, if anyone you know up in the Manchester area wants my coils, go to Steam Master because they stock them. Manchester. <laughs> Every time I hear someone say Manchester, I have to go Manchester. Yeah, Manchester. <laughs> it's all right. All the all the Americans think I'm a I'm a, a scouse. Fucking hell. Ah? <laughs> well, here's one for you, right? When I was locked up, I had a bunch of your lot from up north think I was a fucking Cockney. Hey, what? Yep. Yeah, I had loads of people up from Newcastle, Middlesbrough. There was loads of them that was in the same prison as me in Weatherby, and they thought I, they, they kept calling me Cockney Shane. Fucking hell. I was like, like, I'm nowhere near fucking London. I said, I'm southern to you, but I certainly ain't anywhere near London. You it's like it was. You're only about an hour and 40 minutes. Hey? You're only about an hour and 40 minutes. I'm further than that. It's like I don't really have a, a massive Welsh accent, you know, compared to a lot of people from Wales. So, like, probably to you guys, I do have a little bit of a Welsh tang, but, like, for people that live here, it's not Where are you? Not Stockton, really... aren't you? You what? Do me a little favour more. Say, the valleys. The valleys. The valleys. Chris. The valleys. Christopher. Yeah. You're Stockton, aren't you? Stockton. Smoggy. Is it just, yeah. is it just Stockton or Stockton on Tees? There you go, babes. Am I done? No, I'm still alive. Alright, that's fine, I won't be long. I won't be long. So. Chris is in demand. Oh, 20 minutes? <laughs> ah, she will. Is it Stockton on Tees? Stockton or... on Tees, yes. Yeah. I will tell you how far it is. It is. Yeah. 
It's 141 miles, Chris. It's what? 141 miles, 2 hours 30. Oh, it's not that far then. No, it's about the same distance to uh, Manchester, roughly, for me. Manchester. Uh, no, I'm not in the doghouse. I um, <laughs> I do I do head to Manchester in about two and a half hours, so not much difference. So what are we say troll? Yeah. Why have I got to say troll? <laughs> you got to say that's lush, lush, lush. <laughs> The Welsh do they lush the lush. The only thing I don't like about Wales is they can't spell. I know. Oh, yeah. tell me about it, mate. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. If you go and look at the sign, it's like. <laughs> yeah, there's no vowels in any of the signs around here. No. And the thing Unless is, you're from Cardiff. Half the signs have put. Yeah, all, that's true. Fucking half the population can't even fucking read it. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? One place, it's like fucking. Where is it? Twenty-seven letters long or something. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's that clan, clan fucking dilio go go fucking gochi whatever you call yeah, it. Yeah, clan vile put guenish go gelish clan desilio go go go. Fuck that! <laughs> that just sounds like someone's pissed, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I, I think they I, were I, when they fucking wrote it. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I can speak Welsh when I'm absolutely friggin' mortal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Ah. <laughs> uh. Right, we got what we got about ten minutes. Right, I'm gonna to touch on a little subject now. I was unsure whether to or not, but I'm going to. And I probably a lot of you in here saw Vic's What's Up last night. Oh, yeah, I, I haven't. Know where this is going. Mm. Um, I saw it, and there was a a part on buying subs and things like that. Um, I know Vic didn't say the person's name who he was talking about but it was brought up in the comments section now I don't personally know this person but my daughter does and this guy is a, a trainee nurse at university studying to become a nurse and he's got a wife two kids um, and he certainly doesn't have the finances to buy subscribers. Now, I admit, looking at his social blade, it does look dodgy. There's a lot of spikes and a lot of negatives. Um, but whatever he's doing, he, he's definitely not paying with money for subs. Um... And I also think that before people decide to tar people um, and blacken their name, they should have the common decency to actually speak to the person first mm. um, and <clears throat> say, you know, why is this looking like this? What are you doing to make this like this? Um, or even better, what other people are doing... Leave them to it. If it ain't affecting you, let them crack on. <laughs> the only thing I will give Vic on that one is that he didn't actually name and shame no, who he it was. He didn't name him. No. Which is I'm, I'm not. Got... I'm not going to name him. I could name him, but I'm not going to. Um, you've only got to look in the comment section of Vic's video. But I just think people shouldn't jump the gun. I think things should things should be discussed with people before comments are made so did somebody bring their name up in the comments or yes oh, mate they should have been like i'm not being funny but you know fair enough if vic like if vic wants to do what he wants to do like in my opinion everyone everyone's entitled to what they what they do in their videos yeah and i'll give him credit for not actually naming the person on the video but i reckon if there was one thing that should be done is to remove all the comments of that bring up the name mm. uh, because the whole point of him not showing the name was not showing the name uh, Caleb yeah there may be cheap places but I can tell you now he hasn't even got the extra money to go somewhere cheap well he, you can buy subscribers yeah really 
him, so, him, I'll him and his family. 10K, I'll be doing Ooh. a 10k vlog next week. Him and his family are literally scraping by by the skin of their teeth due to him not being able to work a full time job due to the studying. Point, though, Shane, is we're all vapors. Yep. Yep. We've all quit smoking. Mm -hmm. And we're all one family. Yep. We should be all one family. We should yep. help each other. Yeah. Like. I'm subscribed to to more. I'm subscribed to Pete, Mike, Shane. Uh, I've subscribed to a lot of reviewers. Yep. Yeah, I don't. Uh, there shouldn't I'm, be. I'm a new reviewer myself. I've only got over 200 subs, but I will help anyone. Mm. Yeah, that's. If anyone, about, if anyone yeah. needs any promotions, yes, I've got True Vapors. I have over <laughs> 6,300 members, and damn. The amount of drama that goes in with fucking groups and stuff yeah. like that. Well, I, I, no need. I believe that this the whole thing started on TVP's group. I think it was done through a poll of some description, um, and that's how it all started. Now, there's a lot of idiots in that group. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and exactly, Danny, whatever happened to live and let live? It can't be any worse than wicks and coils. No, that's just a group for dicks anyway. Like, I want to stay out of this, like, sort of thing, because, um, like, Vic done me a lot of favours, mm. um, so I've got a lot of respect for him. Yeah. Um, despite what he does, like like I said, everyone's entitled to their opinion. If yeah. he doesn't agree with something, then he's going to bring it up, same as yeah. same as we're doing now sort of thing. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't disagree. We all I don't, need to help each other. I don't exactly. Um, I, if I don't it wasn't disagree for... with that at all. I don't disagree with the fact no, that he's got a right to bring it up. No, I know um, what you're saying. What um, I disagree with is why did it need to be brought up? I think it was brought to his attention. Um, like I don't like the way it's been done. I don't really agree with, but like, hi Steve. I don't know. I don't know. It's a. It's a. Even state. Like social blade is there, and if somebody like I think the only reason why it was touched upon is because of the numbers that are, that were spiking yes. here and there. You know, he was hitting like mm. two thousand subs in one day, yeah, I don't even know and then dropping it. Mm. But you can look at some of these other people, people that are doing it, and look at their stats, and they look iffy as hell. Yeah, well, look at me. I was on. Um, I was on about. 60 or 70 subs um, I went on Sabs which was my first live show that I actually went on as a guest mm. that got me up to 110 um, I grew a little bit myself organically um, and then I was on the UK Vape Show as a new reviewer and I got up to I think it was just over 400 subs um, after the show and a few days after and then I grew from there up to 500. I've, I've gone over 500 now, just off my own back. And um, I'm up to 512 or something now, I think, or 513. Mm. Oh, no, 515. Mm. 515 I'm up to now. Yeah. But, like... Caleb, it, 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 why, why did it need bringing up? This is what I don't understand. Um, what, what, whatever he's done has not affected anyone else. It'll affect him in the long run if he's doing something dodgy, but it's not affecting anybody else. No, the only thing I will say, though, is that if, and I'm saying if, the subscribers have been bought, then, uh, like Vic touched upon on his thing, um, YouTube always are removing bought subscribers, yeah. and if and if it keeps appearing on their algorithms, then yeah. eventually the channel will get exactly. shut down. That's what I mean. It's only going to affect him in the <laughs> long run. They'll get a strike, yeah. and then they'll get another strike, and then it's... Yeah. 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 Well, whatever is being done that's dodgy, and I don't dispute that there's, there's, there's something wrong with it. Um, yeah. I've actually spoken to my daughter earlier and said, you know, ask but, him. As I was talking ask to him and earlier, tell him Tell him to contact guy. me. The same guy does written reviews. Yes, now. he does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the spikes do look odd. I mean, one of the spikes is like two thousand and some odd subs in one day. Yeah. That I mean, yeah, well, that that looks dodgy. I don't dispute that. Um, but then. You, well, look you at could this. Also... If I go on the likes of 
for example, not another vape show. Mm. Uh, Fagan's got what? 300, 300 subscribers? I can't remember what he's got. Oh, for thousand. example, if I go on, if Rip Trippers went live, yeah. he's got 1.2 million. Yeah. And he goes, go and sub, sub, subscribe to True Vapors. Jesus, he'll just go. Mm. Jared, the vaping goat, as well. Yeah. Um, he did me a favour as well. He shouted me out on, my, on one of his. Um, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. One of the, One of his vlogs. I've, 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 been, I've been mentioned a few times on Jared's when I and, sent him um, the coils, and recently again. Um, I was like, how the fuck? How the fuck have I jumped up like fifteen, twenty subs in the last twenty-four hours? I was like, what the fuck? And then um, Jared's video popped up to me on the fucking notification, and uh, I was like, ah, oh, he shouted me out. So I sent him a private message, as I always do, because. Anybody that shouts me out, whether it's in chat or from like you guys, reviewers, anybody, I have a lot of respect for, and like it's massively appreciated. Hmm. Um, Jesus, I've got six point three thousand members on True Vapors. You would think that I would have a lot more subs, but it doesn't happen, yeah. does it? People, it doesn't don't... happen. I've got over a thousand in on my Big Boy Coils um, page, just on the on on the page itself. And then yeah. there's quite a few in the group as well, but I've only got 500 and, no, 400, 400 and some 455. Yeah. Well, I got, I got 2,000 followers on my Vaping with Mobro page. I got 100 members in the Hyena Pack. If you're not on the Hyena mm. Pack, join it. But make sure you answer the fucking questions. Because I've had loads of people trying to apply, and I need them to answer the questions it's before I accept dummy, them. It's all my dummy accounts. Why, why have you not? <laughs> um, so yeah, two thousand on there on the page, a hundred members on the on the group. Um, I'm just under three k on Instagram, and I thought the same as you. I thought, ah, okay, if these people are following me, you know, I'm I'm putting up posts on Instagram saying thanks for two hundred, thanks for three hundred, thanks for four, blah blah blah. You think, oh, they'll jump over and have a look at the channel, maybe subscribe. No, nah, doesn't fucking happen. Yeah, they, they they may have come from nowhere, Mac, but wouldn't it, wouldn't it wouldn't you think you'd have the decency to actually speak to that person first? It's like, for instance, if someone I knew or I even didn't know, if someone was suspicious, I'd have the common decency to message that person before Instagram. I made anything public. Maybe that's just me, but you know, and exactly sure. someone, something like Mike said, there could be a possibility that someone could have bought them subs and put them on his channel without him even knowing. But it goes on personality as well. If if you can relate to to your subscribers, then or to relate to people. Jesus, I watch that many that many videos on how to become more successful on YouTube. Mm. It is unreal. There's a lot to learn about YouTube. Yeah, Irish. Um, yeah, I know. That's what I said. Vic didn't name him, and that I respect. But that being the case, people should have had the decency to not name him in the comments either. Um, if Vic's keeping his oh, name anonymous, more, bro. <laughs> if Vic's keeping his that name anonymous. More, bro. <laughs> then Vic subscribers should have the common decency to not name him. Yeah. Um, if it was me that was doing that, like, I'm not telling anyone how to run their channel, but maybe he's, like, because you do get notifications through when people comment on your videos. Yeah, you do. He should have immediately been removing them because mm. the whole point of him not putting the name in is because he didn't want to, bring to exactly. people's attention who it was yeah he kept so, the name he kept the name anonymous which is decent yeah that's yeah. a decent thing to do so his it's subscribers the should have been a guy in the states he went from 1000 i think it was 1600 subs up to 20 odd thousand mm. but he was actually he's he's proven that he bought subscribers well look at that guy uh what's his fucking name can never remember his name. I'm terribly sorry. He's got like a backdrop with fucking like escalators behind him. Don't know. UK UK reviewer. Can't remember his fucking name. No idea. And he got called out for buying subs. Not someone I watch. And and he dropped a vlog and he was going fucking crazy on the vlog. 
because he got called mm. out by a load of people for yeah. buying subs, mm. and uh, he had a he had a massive stab at a couple of reviewers for it. Um, I can never remember his fucking name. Yeah, you, you're me. probably right there, Village. But at the end of the day, I know that that guy, the, the guy in question, is a stand-up decent guy. Um, trying to better himself by yeah, Mike. Training. Mike, I'm exactly the same. Sorry to interrupt, Shane. Yeah. Um, I always stay well clear of drama. Mm. It's not my. It's not my bag. It's not my bag. I pride my group is drama free. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, most drama is unnecessary. All I'm doing is d- defending, oh, or yeah, giving, of course, yeah. giving, Burfler, giving, June. giving the the little guy a bit of a. I'm not saying I'm backing what he's done in any way, shape, or form because I completely agree. There's something amiss. Yeah, but you're perfectly within in your rights to but do what you're doing. I feel that defending the guy. There's no need for it to go where it went. Mm. Um. Because we're all vapors, we're all doing the same thing. We're all our end goal should be the same thing: help people stop smoking, get people off the yeah. stinkies, get people living longer. You know, that's what it's all about. It's a good community as well. I mean, vaping. I've met so many fucking good friends through vaping that I would never mm. even know if it wasn't for vaping. So, the like, about it though, the way you see it is, if you if you used to go to the pub, go outside, have a fag. And you'd be like, you don't go, oh, what are you smoking? Oh, Regal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh what do they taste like? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, but the yeah. vapors, oh, oh, what setup have you got? Oh, what yeah. juice are you in? But, yeah. Lisa, wouldn't you do the same in the same instance if someone said something to you, like about you buying subs or something else, wouldn't you automatically become defensive? Do you know what I mean? It's human nature, isn't it? YouTube haven't sp- spamming software to Uh, yeah. What to do? And if anyone knows YouTube, it's Pete. He knows YouTube pretty damn well. He studies the analytics and fucking everything. Did um, I speak to Daniel DGLSB? Yeah. Jesus. Um, he's like a a walking encyclopedia for YouTube. Yeah. yeah Pete's mm. Pete's a bit of a YouTube guru. Um. And you know, yeah. If most of them, if they had been bought, they would have been removed. Um, and yet the channel still stands at 8,000 plus. So it's one of them. Everyone's going to have their opinion. Um, I've yeah. said my piece and that's it. You know, I'm the only sure, thing... I'm sure, <laughs> I'll, I'm sure, no doubt, there'll be some backbiting towards me for saying what I've said, but I don't <laughs> hold my hands up and say I don't really care. I always say what I feel. Um, just how I am, yeah. but I say it in the right way. I'm not going to come out and attack people. Um, Vic knows uh, what Vic knows a lot about YouTube. He worked for Google. I get one up on botnets, then the botnets redo, and it's a cycle. Yeah, there's loads of bots that do it. Um, but it's irrelevant, really. Whatever does it, um, it's, in my opinion, it's a live and let live world. Um, the thing about it is, we, at the end of the day, we need all, we all need to support each other mm. and also help the people. It's October, it's stop, top, stop, October, yeah. and the adverts on the telly promote vaping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. They don't get that over the States. It's totally the opposite in the States. Yeah. yeah. Try- You've seen that advert that was fucking put on the TV. It was shared on on, on uh, Facebook and all. Mm, was that the FDA advert? Yeah, and they got that kid vaping, and then it zooms into the brain, and there's all yeah. these fucking yeah. creatures going round and all. It's like, that's, why, that's why what, do that? That's what's happening in the States. Mm. Yeah. The FDA went to Jewel. Uh, the, the tabloids have made a big, massive hoo-ha about it. Yeah. Uh, went to Jewel uh, and see. Uh, it says sees loads of papers. They didn't. Jewel literally went. They knew they were coming and went. Mm-hmm. There you go. But all the FDA's done there is given Jewel a mass, a mass of publicity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you they know what I mean? Promoted it for them, haven't they? Yeah. Um, and any publicity is good publicity. It doesn't matter what it is. 
drama's the same. Mm. If someone's having drama, people are like, ooh, 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 let's go. <clears throat> Look at the likes yeah. of Jay Hayes and TVP. I'm speaking the devil. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Hi, TVP. Like, I'm, I'm not getting involved in any of this shit. Yeah. Like, I stay fucking, I keep, like, my nose is big enough, i got to keep it clear. <laughs> Mozambique, yeah, is what my old boss used to call though, me. No, that's I, terrible. I, I will, I will back my fellow reviewers in the UK one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We are, we are like, we are a family, basically, aren't we? Yeah. Like, let's but face it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. As much as it should be um, a united vaping community, it's far from it. Very it's like much going, far it's like from going to the playground and going, I'm going to tell me, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. But very like, much far from. I like because I am irrelevant. Like I'm, I'm getting more well it. known. Yeah. I am getting more well known. Like even Dino. I, I've got a load of fucking shout outs to do on my 500 vlog, which is mm. coming. Who's who's with more, bro? <laughs> oh, some fucking Welsh twat. <laughs> Some Welsh bloke that's got Velcro gloves and big holes in the top of his wellies. The gloves yeah. are grinder. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> woolly grinder. Fucking grinder. Hashtag woolly grinder. No, my, my hashtag is hashtag irrelevant. That's the one I've got. Like, Dean always... Dean's got the afterthought one. Mine's yeah. hashtag irrelevant. Mm. That's what mine is. So I'm going to get that on a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think. But it's... big love to the Devil Vapor and Mike and TVP as well. You bunch of sexy bastards. I heard the TVP is at Expo. And he's doing a free round for all UK reviewers. <laughs> yeah. Only if you're wearing the UK Vape Show T-shirt. I think it, they're getting you getting beers in for yeah. people with the UK Vape Show T-shirts on. I'll That's have, fine. I'll have oh, to... He's buying me a fucking beer. I'll tell him that now. I'll have to get one and just staple it to my back since they don't do sizes big enough, eh? Man's a quadruple Jack Daniels, Mark. Yeah, um, I'll have to get... Uh, Mark, if you're in chat, I want to know if they do a spray on UK Vape, t- <laughs> UK vape Show t-shirt, because you know I, I wear my spray on t-shirts. Lap, lap it on. You like it tight, <laughs> DMO. <laughs> he likes it tight, just like the guys on Grinder. Uh, I, I was on Instagram, uh, and there was a... Is it EC, one of the vape shows over in the States? And they actually had women naked with painted on advertisements. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey, I, I made the mistake of uh, bringing up <laughs> my, Michael fucking say about this. <laughs> TV on, people get fucked. On uh, Sabs last night, I don't know if it was on the show or after the show, I was on about when I, when I did kickboxing and uh, mixed martial arts and everything. And Mike was like, oh, me and you will have to have a spa. I was like, get fucked, you're bigger than me. <laughs> fucking hell, he, oh, he snapped me like a fucking twig. <laughs> Hashtag laughing the shepherd on the grinder at more. <laughs> fucking hell. It's vaping Irish. He's the one that started all this fucking grinder thing, and I didn't even know what the fuck it was. Yeah, that's what you're telling us. I swear down. I'm on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> no one fucking swipes me. <laughs> Yeah. Wait there, wait there. My fucking uh, screen just minimised for some reason. <laughs> I'm being hacked. Yeah. <laughs> Beat when Danny, not the grinder again. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Oh, dear. Hashtag wet and woolly. We can call you small <clears throat> kids. Oh, man. Mark, don't be like that. That's not very nice. I know one one fellow US reviewer that's actually got the the FP. Ooh, he actually ordered two of them. Nice, fucking cracking tank. And the person who I'm on about makes this. Mm. Ah. Mister Stan, Mister Stan. Tenacious TX vapes. I know that because he asked me, and I will say it. He asked me to rev. Refer a UK vapes online, uh, and I suggested Nature Vapes. Mm. 
and I, I know for a fact he tried it and he liked it. Mark, uh, Mark from Nature Vapes, fucking, it's a good guy. Yeah, I don't don't know him personally, so. I met him not... on the show. I did. <clears throat> he seems like um, a really good guy. It's not a shop I've ordered from either, to be honest. I want that coily tool. I really want one. Oh, I got three. Oh, ah. yeah. Where's mine? And mine says Mobro on the top. Yeah. I want one like mine, dear. Mine says, uh, <clears throat> big boy. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All you got to do, mate, speak to Simon. I'll do your personal one with you in a reviewer, no doubt. He does tend to uh, look after the reviewers. I just like, I just like, it. You, I just like it. Yeah, it's, yeah tell you what, it's fun. it's great for things like the cosmonaut and stuff like that. Well, bro. Anything, anything with like a postless deck, it's brilliant. I for. really thought that was Marlboro at the first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Right. I've actually got um, on my bedroom door. I've actually got the word Mobro cut out from a Marlboro Lights packet stuck hmm. to my bedroom door. <laughs> I actually cut the letters out <laughs> and put it on my bedroom door when I used to smoke. I was like, mate, that is cool. It's in gold and white. It looks fucking sweet. Yeah, I'm afraid, Irish. I think you've said something that's going to stick. <laughs> oh, see that? Irish said, uh, I honestly didn't think I would hang around. No, this... no, that the um, tick grinder thing would hang around this long. Anyway, I missed the drama talk. Give me the gist. Sorry, Mark. No, nope. you should have tuned in earlier. All I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say, Mark, is I just think what's happened with the buying subs thing is unnecessary, and that's all I'm gonna say. Ah, uh, just a back on the coily tool. Didn't Coil Master make one? Yeah, and then they took it off the market. Yeah. Um, the only other one you can get is there's one that Times Vape do, which is the metal one, which I have somewhere because they gave me one at Expo. And there's also one that Hugs Vape do, which is like a square version of the coily tool. I'm actually quite. I'm doing my first mech review soon, so Mike, any pointers? Uh, he does regulated reviews now. <laughs> Mike's regular, Mike, Mike, Mike's regulated reviews. <laughs> There's going to be a channel change. Yes, Times Web sent me the oh, what's it called again? It's in the house. Yeah, fuck off. You, you want... got another one one thousand and fifty six yesterday? Yeah, Holy I know. Shit. I know all this. I've seen his stats, and I I'm staying out of it, so I haven't really been paying attention. Like I said, Mark, previously a few minutes ago. Um, all I'm saying is that my daughter knows him personally, knows his financial situation, and there is no way on this earth that he is physically buying subs with money. That's all I'm saying. And I just don't think it needed bringing up the way it was. <laughs> I don't think people needed to name him in the comments on the video that Vic did, since Vic was decent enough to keep it anonymous. Um... And there's been no need for it all. Live and let live, in my opinion. I think it's all a load of bullshit. And if, you know, whatever he's doing, it's only going to harm him in the long run. So why should it bother other people? Hi, Chris. Evening, sugar baby. Oh, Chris. Rattle, rattle, rattle. <clears throat> Quick, give it to a baby. <laughs> Did you see his video? No, not yet. I had the same issue. I haven't done the review for it yet. Uh, Chris said the tank was literally welded on, and mine was, and I told what all for, and they sent me out a new tank. <laughs> Yeah, but you could say that about your stats as well, though, Mark, if you look on Social Blade. Just saying. But. Fuck. Yeah, on that I'd... note, I'll leave it there. Um, it's that time of night anyway. So, 
and we've overrun by about 20 minutes as it is. Fuck, have we? Yeah, it's 10 to 11. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so, uh... Are we seeing Chris's comment? <laughs> yeah. Are we talking about this again? He is buying subs or someone is buying subs for him. No, the next well, one. The best thing to do is just... Like I said, I'm staying out of this. I saw the video and like sugar fly. The only the only thing I will say about it is that any comments that brought the guy's name up because Vic had the decency to keep it anonymous, which I'll give him a lot of credit for. But um, any comments that actually name the guy should be removed. That's all I'm gonna comment on the situation because I keep I pride myself on keeping drama free. Um, and that's the way I'm gonna fucking stay. Mm. Um, take that as you will. But um, everyone, like I said earlier, everyone's entitled to their opinions, and that's the way it is. Um, but yeah, it. All I will say is that any any comments that bring up the person's name should should mm. uh, be taken down because it isn't really fair. I mean, mm. he's getting a lot of stick from a lot of angles. Um, Unnecessary. If he, if he is buying, if he is buying subs, then he's buying subs. If someone else is buying them for him, then someone's buying them for him. It's at the end of the day, he, it, they're only going to get taken away. Let's yeah. face it. Mike, Mike so, said, I think it was Mike who said it earlier. You could have pissed someone off. Yeah. Yeah. But that's his business. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's his business. Live and let live. live boy, same though, as that. At the end of the day, we all should support each other. Regardless of what it is, uh, it's already like, come out, Chris. People commented Chris, in Vic's video, for example, a vape tube. <clears throat> well, I'm like I'm gonna say now, if it wasn't for the Super Awesome Vape Show and the UK Vape Show, I would not be where I am now. To be perfectly honest with you, because those boys have done me a lot of favors, a lot of favors, and I got a lot of respect for them. Mm -hmm. And Shane, you having me on the show as a panellist as well. I've got respect for some. <laughs> but a uh, future reference, Mark, my name ain't got a Y on it. And uh, I've I've gained a lot of friends, like I said about half hour ago. Um, I've gained a lot of friends through vaping and uh, people that I've got a lot of respect for. I mean, fucking hell, when, if I look back to the expo in May, no one knew who the fuck I was. Who? But yeah, huh? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm getting more out there. People are seeing me on the live shows. No one watches my reviews anyway, so that's irrelevant. I do. Hash, hashtag irrelevant. <laughs> um, but it's going to be interesting to see how October Night, Julian. goes. Night, Julian. Night, Julian. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's good. It's good fun. Yeah. So, I enjoy what I do. I fucking I know I have a lot of personal shit going on, and that is the reason why I've been fucking so bad with my content recently. It's fucking ridiculous, and I I've got so much right, stuff stacking up. I still can't get the grips on some softwares, and I really need to speak to someone. And go, right, what the fuck do I do with this bit? Mm. Mm. I, t I there's one thing I need somebody to help me with, right? And any of you big reviewers that are in the chat or any of you guys that know your shit. Um, the lower three bit, you know where you've got like a miniature logo in the corner and you hover over it and it says subscribe on yeah, there? On the bottom I right. want to know where I can get like a template or fucking... I can do coding as well, so I, I did a two-year course in coding. I can help you with that one. I so say, I need yeah, some I help just, with um, it. The bloke who did my logo just shrank it in size for me to use yeah. it. So. Like I've I've done I've done a two year course in video editing, audio editing, coding. I could write a website just with code, um, graphic design, uh, graphic art, and fucking all that sort of shit. I just need somebody to help me with that little fucking logo thing on the bottom right hand mm. corner. A lot of the reviewers now use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Mm. That's what I use. I cannot. No, get away with it. no, I don't use that. I, I use uh, Movavi whenever I do a recording. I've which is got, very rare. I've got, so, um, I've got Sony sure. Vegas. That's probably the Lee, I would say. <laughs> I've got, I've got Adobe Pro, oh, uh, I mean. Pro, 
I got Adobe Premiere Pro, which I use mostly. I've got Sony Vegas Pro as well, which those that software, the Adobe Editing Suite, cost a fucking fortune. But it's you know, really, I, really good I software. Use, I use HitFilm Express. I've got that as well, but I never really used it. Mm. But um, that's what I learned when I was in school. I learned I had the Adobe Editing Suite back in the day when I was in school. Um, was and that, many, that was many moons ago. Yeah, that was like when Adobe Premiere five point six or something was out. Jeez. It was a long time ago. Um, but Premiere Pro, I just I'm used to that, so that's what I use. Yeah, I agree there, Matt. But <clears throat> anyway, on that note, we're off. Yeah. So uh, take it easy, everyone. We can all Don't say your goodbyes. To subscribe to more. Also, as well, if you need some coils. This is your man. Mm. Yeah, you can buy them from various shops, either Empire Vape Co. or Steam Master, if you want to buy them from a brick and mortar. But if not, yeah. go on to Facebook and hit me up over there. Chris, I was going to use the money to buy subs, but I thought I'd use it on Adobe Premiere instead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm a twat, aren't I? <laughs> Hashtag hyena. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Well, you can either say your goodbyes or I'll hit the outro. Take your pick. No, we'll say Bye. goodbyes. We'll say our goodbyes. Go on. Well, then. Chris, you go first. You're the guest. Now I'm the pest. You go. All right then. Thank you to everybody who has tuned in tonight. Um, it's been an interesting one today. Um, touched on a couple of subjects. And the chat has been good. There hasn't really been any trolls apart from the fucking grinder bollocks. Thank you, Vaping Irish, you penis. Um, <laughs> and yeah, Chris, you brought it up as well, you twat. Um, but I love you all, genuinely love you all. I got a lot of respect for everyone who takes the time to tune in and watch our ugly mugs talk bollocks. But. Um, if you haven't, subscribe to all of us on the panel if you haven't already. Um, it would be greatly appreciated, and I love you each and every one of you um, that has actually taken the time to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next week. So goodbye, everyone. All I'm going to say is, if you're not on True Vapors, head over to Facebook on True Vapors. Don't forget to subscribe to myself. I am fairly new, but the main point I want to get across is please, please help our guys over in the States uh, help fight that fight, what they're doing over there, because uh, a lot of companies over in the States do come over in the UK you've got the likes of Flawless, Big Massive Distro you've got Elements everything like that so please help the guys over in the States <laughs> Fuck you, it. Chris. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. I'll just simply say thanks, everyone, for popping over, joining in. Not you, Chris, by the way, Empire Vape Co. Uh, Sorry, Shane, carry on. <laughs> and us two will be back again same time next week. Um, and who knows, there might be another guest if we find one. And if not, <laughs> so be it. It could be one of the Vape and the Omis. So, mm -hmm. until then, guys, we shall see you all same time, same place next week. See Bye. you later.